Hey, 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 what up? It's me. Um, for a while, I've been kind of slacking uh, in terms of me uh, reading. Now, I've never been like one of those people that could just read a Stephen King novel and, you know, I could just, you know, you know those people that could just, they're bookworms and they could just plow through a book like nothing. I do like to read, uh, but... I can't read that much at, at a huge in a huge quantity. But that being said, uh, back in my twenties, I used to always have some book on hand that I would at least I wouldn't say it was every night, but uh, three or four times a night uh, in, in the nighttime before bed, I would try to read at least a little bit. You know, fifteen pages, twenty pages. I started reading more. Um, fiction initially and then I switched over to nonfiction the last book I read from front to back and it was just because um, it's when I went to Japan and after a reading I was just really engulfed in the book it was called the uh, the rise of the warrior cop by Radley Balco um, definitely check that out um, it's not it's not an anti cop book I read that and it just it was a very exciting book and just depressing at times but this, this, this video is not to review that book but um after reading that I was like yeah I really like reading because you kind of just can just drop everything and just sink right into a different world and your mind and your imagination and reading is fundamental it's good for you but as the years went on and with your with I'm just busy with work and this and that it's still no excuse but I just stopped reading and I think another pro reason why a lot of people including myself probably don't read as much things that are substantial is because of the old I don't have it with well I'm using it right now it's it's your phone you might be I think with our society you're constantly scrolling and watching videos and I'm guilty of this watching YouTube videos watching um, cable TV, Netflix, there's so much different different streaming uh, options, Roku, um, Apple TV, YouTube Red, it just goes on and on and with the, the amount of information just being processed and given to us, it's kind of hard with like my attention, everyone's attention spans, at least me, kind of just gets you get diverted really fast so with that being said I always told myself that I got a book right here I always told myself that I'm gonna try to make a conscious effort to read a little bit more and uh, not make an excuse and I need to read this book so this is a good kickstart to reading um, and that is and I need to read it because it's gonna be for our own benefit I don't know if you guys and else have read it and this is a uh, the um, you see that the baby the baby sleep solution and it's a proven program to teach your baby to sleep 12 hours a night I'm about 50 pages in and so about a little more than half a uh, little less than halfway done already it's a quick read and I've been reading it during lunchtime a little bit and um, see right there and it's supposed to be proven and with all the different varying advice that you get from different parents and me, us being uh, gonna be first time parents, can be a lot of information, but very interesting. I'm gonna read this, hopefully uh, it, uh, it works. If it doesn't, I'm gonna personally write to the author, Susie Giordano with Lisa Abedin. And I'm going to put a complaint in and say, you need to get your ass to my house because I followed your program to the T because I'm going to follow it. Me and my wife are going to follow it. And by 12 weeks, our kid better be sleeping 12 hours a night. That's the facts. So um, outside of that, this has uh, kick-started me and ignited me to start reading, get this, get done with this book. Um, I may be on hiatus a little bit with being sleep-deprived, me and my wife, but I will try to uh, read a little bit more. So that's it. Uh, are you guys and gals avid readers if so what kind of genre do you uh, like do you like fiction non-fiction um crime crime stories mysteries horror uh, 
political history, cooking. There's all sorts of, uh, sorry, there's all sorts of, uh, what is this? I think that's a freaking bug, dude. What is that? I'm sorry. Oh, it's not a bug. It's just a piece of lid. Sorry. There's all sorts of different genres. So I think with the big umbrella of different subjects, you can always find something that you like. And real quick, it's kind of uh, sad that a lot of bookstores have just been closing down. I mean, I think there's like, they used to have, there used to be a ton in the 90s, like Borders, um, Barnes and Nobles. I think there's like one, but there's one at, at, at a mall close by my house that closed. There's a ton of them that were closing down. I think there's only one left that's within proximity. And I really like just having the, with everything digital, you know, that's fine. But I like to just have the, the old hardcover, the old school, uh, you know, mentality of just holding the book, you know, it just feels more secure kind of like how when you uh with all the blockbusters and hollywood videos being shut down um i liked actually going to the video store and grabbing something uh but maybe i'll save that for another video but to actually grab and purchase it sitting with music um, cds actual real cds as opposed to just being on netflix or something and just flicking through channels left and right but um I'll do that for another video, so that's my time. I gotta keep reading, I gotta stay uh, educated, keep the mind sharp, and uh, keep it moving. So that's about it. Comments, questions, always welcome. Bye.